So here is my 2018 project pan. The first item on my agenda is the Naked 3 Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. I haven't really used this since it first came out. So you can see there's a heavy dip there, a heavy dip here. These are like my two favorite shades. There's not as big of a dip in here as I would think. And then these are hardly been touched. It's starting to get a little bit of a smell to it, so I kind of want to just use it up until before this year is over. Then the next thing on my lace is the Too Faced Something About Mary blush, or Berry blush. And this pink is super dark on me, and these two are, like, nice. But you have to be super light-handed, so I think it's going to last maybe until next year. We'll see. Next thing I have on my list, I actually got in a makeup tray with somebody, is the Mary Luminizer highlight. And it's pretty close to a pan. Oop. So I think that will be able to hit pan on this very soon. It's very nice. I think I stuck my thumb in it. Then the next thing on my list is Hard Candy Blush Glow All The Way in Living Dolls. It's actually discontinued. But it's one of my favorite blushes ever since high school, like 16 years old. This was my favorite blush. This is not the same one. I actually threw that one out because, yet again, I was worried because I had it for so long. I'm 26 now. I had it when I was 16. That's 10 years. So I bought a bunch of them when they went on sale, and this one just opened. So. And now we have the Too Faced Candlelight Glow in Rose Gold. I bought this. I really, really, really wanted it. And then I ended up not, like loving it. I felt like it made it look really chalky. And then they already hit hard pan, so I want to try to use it up. Because I don't want to waste my money. So there's that. The next thing I have is the apple cider Bonnie Look to Finer, and this is how much I have left of it. This is probably from like 2014, so I better use that up, especially since I can't find the cap for it. Next I have the Kat Von D Oop, throwing things. Shade and Light. Now this has actually got a pan in it already, if you can't see right there. It's pretty good. It's my favorite powder though, but like I was thinking for the darker shade right here, I could use for like my eyebrows or fake freckles. These two I bounced in between for my um, bronzer. I'm not sure what to use this for, maybe an eyebrow base or yeah, an eye base. And then there's this one too, which is almost like this, but not as light. And then... Next thing on my list is the 18 color eyeshadow Galaxy Chic. And this is was actually one of my favorite palettes. I think that's why I stopped playing with the Urban Decay 3 so much. I just want to get back into it. It has such cute names and cute colors. And this is like the original packaging. They've reformulated or remade it or something. So, yeah. Then I have, that's a heart eyeshadow palette and blush palette. And I usually use this when I travel. And, like, this one's close to getting pan, I think. That one right there, as you can see. And the one under it. Because I use those two the most. But, like, the, these I hardly touch. This I scraped into it. It hit hard pan. And then this blush is actually really pretty. And it's really cute. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's also a discontinued one. And then I have the NYX eyeshadow bases. I have this one in white. And then this one in skin tone. And then the last thing I have is the Jersey Shore Lavender Spa um, <clears throat> lip balm. And I opened it up and saw how much was left. So right where that marker is, right here, from the end of this page is how much is in it. And there's day one mark, day one mark. So I'll come back next month and also show you where they're at. See so if you can see the difference. See if there was any process progress made. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and let me know. What are you doing? Any project pans? How are they going? I'm totally in, into it and I want to try it.